Hospice Care is an independent charity based in the Devon area. We care for over 2,000 patients every year in our specially designed daycare centres and our home patient visits. Annually, we require £4 million to supply funding to all our sectors that Hospice Care operates. As an independent charity, we need to raise money. We are not part of the NHS, we employ our own nurses and we would not be able to offer the service without donations, gifts and legacies. We are specialists. Our professionals offer a wide range of support, physical, spiritual, emotional and social. Our specialists pass on their expertise to other health professionals and students. I'm the Volunteering Support and Training Administrator for Hospice Care and Hospice Care is made up of over a thousand volunteers and they're in every single aspect of the organisation from driving patients to appointments to sitting with them in daycare to helping out in our shops to helping us raise the money and that's where we're really looking for volunteers at the moment because as a charity we need to raise about four million pounds every year so having volunteers on board with helping us to do that is a very important aspect of it so we're looking for volunteers to help us in the shops, help us on events and help with our fundraising teams. Our specialist nurses visit patients at home giving expert advice and guidance our hospice in Exeter gives 24-hour nursing care supported by hospice care doctors and consultants. Hospice care has three day centres at their hospice in Exeter, Seaton and in Tiverton. Our enterprise centre is where a large portion of our volunteers help. The amount of goods is so vast that we constantly need more volunteers to help out. Hi, I'm Nina and I am the sorting supervisor. I'm mainly responsible for sorting the clothes and distributing the clothes to the shops. It's, it's good fun, we have a good laugh, plenty of tea, coffee and biscuits and always busy. At our enterprise centre we take in thousands of unwanted goods that have been donated. Well, my name's Gareth, hello. Um, I've been unemployed for three months and um, I came down here because I wanted to give something back actually as opposed to just taking all the time or lining bosses' pockets and things. And um, yeah, it feels really good. It feels good to be doing something for no money. And it, it only takes time. I do 10 hours a week and I get a lot done. And if more people just gave five hours, it would make a huge difference down here. As you can see, there's so much stuff that gets donated. Lots of it's really good clobber as well. Mm -hmm. So come down and get first dibs. With specialist removal vans to help with the pickup of donations, there is an endless stream of goods which stretches our staff and volunteers. Our book centre receives thousands of books weekly and is in lack of volunteers to help. With our online eBay systems now running, and this will now add an extra market for the books to be sold other than in our shops that we already own, supplying countless amounts of reading materials. The, one of the best places to be is the shops, because you, you, for some people who want to volunteer, coming into the hospice is just too much for them, particularly if they've had a, on a regular basis, usually half a day a week or two, two halves a week. Um, you can have a lot of fun there. You can do something really valuable, which is sorting clothes, selling clothes, meeting people. But it's also it's the front line of, of the hospice. People's impression of the hospice is often gained just from going into our shops. So in itself, that is a, a very valuable thing. Any volunteers who do anything to help uh, will find that it is a very uh, worthwhile experience. You do get far more back than you give out whether it's in terms of just meeting new people or feeling that you're actually helping in some way. Every penny raised by hospice care shops is used by the charity to fund our work, supporting people with a terminal illness. Our shop on 4th Street boasts fantastic deals for any bargain hunters. If you are interested in donating, please take your bagged goods to your nearest hospice care shop and remember, our shops open on weekdays between 9am and 5pm. volunteers to help us process clothing, serve the customers, turn over the amount of money that we turn over for hospice care and there is always something here that needs doing so we can accept as many volunteers as we can find and we'd love to have more people here. My name's Kevin and my role is actually um, I run the vintage section um, to put the stock out and doing all the displays and stuff. So um, what you see is my little creation, but um, what happens is with do donations we pick out the vintage stuff, instead of it all being together we actually separate it and it works really well. 
so it's like every day there's something to do it's always uh, new bits coming in so it's always on the go down here it changes every week down here we have sewing machines which the students love and, and some of those are actually from the 1930s and they go really well I mean we have all sorts down here I mean we have I mean it, it's all literally from 20s 30s 50s so it, it's every year recovered really I mean we have um, we've had photos in in the frames and one of them was 1920 I had a suitcase which was newspaper 1859 I think it was in there so it, it varies mm. so it's and actually it makes it more interesting it's not just the ordinary charity shop it's actually people that we get regular customers which you don't usually get in charity shops so it's quite good my name is Vicky Lucknick I'm the volunteering manager and we look after more than a thousand volunteers who help us in so many capacities and skills and areas of work that make a difference to people's lives all over the, the southeast area of Devon. Um, volunteers make a difference in so many ways, in particularly those that help to raise the money. Uh, they help in our shops, they help with fundraising events, to raise the money that helps the nurses and other volunteers to get out and make a difference directly on patients' lives. And then it also helps the charity. Your role helping rummage through all sorts of fascinating memorabilia. You will find some good comradeship, make some friendships, have a laugh, enjoy a cup of tea or coffee. And at the time when you go home, you can look back and think what a difference you've made over those few hours whilst you're doing something that's fun and entertaining and meeting different people from all walks of life. It really does make a difference for you as a volunteer and definitely for us as a charity. Volunteering has a direct impact on patients' lives and if this is something you feel that you might like to find more about, do give us a call. We always want to hear from you. You'll be amazed at the different ways that you can help in many different areas to help raise the money. Um, so give us a call and we will have a chat and talk things through and I'm sure that your skills, your time and your interest will help make a difference directly on someone's life. Our patients are the sole reason we do this. So with your help through fundraising and volunteering, we can aid patients going through a tough period in their lives and make that little difference to ease everyday life. If you are interested in being a volunteer to give any time that you might have, please don't hesitate to get in touch.